And now let's go around the world where we look at China's footprint on the globe, starting with the state news agency Xinhua. Bloomberg LP announced on Friday the appointment of former IBM chairman and chief executive officer Samuel J. Pamisano as an independent advisor regarding privacy and data standards. The media outlet said that it was the company's latest move to address client concerns after it acknowledged that Bloomberg reporters had long been able to access information on clients' use of Bloomberg's data terminals including their login history and functions used. Now, as the U.S. Federal Reserve and central banks in Europe and Japan have all reportedly started looking into the issue or contacted Bloomberg for information on the matter, China would also do well to stay vigilant about financial data safety. Now, as of the end of the first quarter of this year, China's foreign exchange reserve stood at a mammoth 3.44 trillion U.S. dollars, the world's largest. According to one specialist, Chinese users of Bloomberg's data terminal include not only major commercial banks, security firms, investment banks and fund management companies, but also China's central bank and foreign exchange watchdog. Industry specialists warn that if information on those decision makers' use of Bloomberg terminals is gathered by Bloomberg journalists for analysis or leaked to a third party, it will bring huge risks for China's financial sector. Now, as the world's leading financial information service provider, Bloomberg LP has over 315,000 subscribers to its financial terminals, mostly high-end clients such as government institutions, banks, corporations and news agencies. Xinhua emailed questions to a Bloomberg official in charge of corporate affairs on subscriptions to Bloomberg terminals in China, but has not received replies so far. Also, according to Chinese industry specialists, Bloomberg LP and its rival Thomson Reuters take up about 70 percent of the global financial data service market. Now, the insider also added that China's own financial data services have a long ways to go to rival its international counterparts because it's difficult to challenge the monopoly of Bloomberg and Reuters and their strong capability of data analysis.